Uh. Hello, I'm Jerry Barbie with Barbie Metal Detector Sales in Burlington, North Carolina. Uh, I may have found that uh, the only one I've ever found is an Indian axe head. This is what they call the Gifford axe. I was out with my metal detector going through the woods, going to an old home site, and I just happened to walk up on this uh, axe head, which is called, it's a Gifford axe. And the age of this is 4,000, between 4,000 and 5,000 years old. And uh, the way the reason I know, uh, it, we looked it up, the age of it, uh, and the Over Street uh, Identification Guide, and the University of North Carolina have done studies on this axe. And uh, normally a Gifford axe, most of them are broken. It's very rare to find one that hasn't been hit by a plow. And I hunt a lot of fields. And but this was found in a pasture next to a creek. Evidently it was a campsite. Or they maybe just live there. And this was found at the top. They wanted to, they like to camp out on a hill in case the creek would rise. And I was walking along and then the way it was laying in the ground, it was vertically like this. And I just happened to see the top parts of the jagged edge of the Gifford Act. And the only amount, luckily for me, the only part that you could see outside the ground was this, above this, this top part here. But when I glanced at it, I knew right then that it, it I just had a feeling it was, uh, and I, it, it was an arrowhead or an axe head. Luckily it was an axe head. But this one is very rare in that it is in perfect condition. Never been hit by a plow. Now if, it, if I found it in a farm field instead of in the pasture, probably it would have been damaged. Now a damaged Gilford axe is worth approximately a hundred dollars. And but undamaged or in perfect condition like this one, it'd be worth $200 roughly or even more. It's according to what the collector wants to give for it. Now personally, I'd rather keep it and uh, it's a find of a lifetime for me probably. And, uh, but I, I, I just enjoy showing it to my customers and sharing it with you people out there watching this video today. And uh, but the University of North Carolina they've done studies on the Guilford Axe and so they're probably pretty close on the age and uh, the price. But uh, I look at it more as an axe. Gifford acts than I do as the price. Of course, we always like to know they're valuable. So that's really all I can say. I think I pretty well covered it uh, on the Gifford acts. And I appreciate you taking your time to watch this video.